Hello, this is the coding teacher, and I'm back with the five minute lead code series where I uh, explain a lead code in five minutes or less and then take however long it takes to implement it. I'm doing this one today remove duplicates from sorted list two, so you have a linked list. We're back with this linked list construct um, with a value and an next pointer, singly linked list. And they basically want you to, re to remove any numbers from the list that have duplicates. So it's sorted initially, right? And um, so in this case, we have a, only a one. Only a single one, only a single two. Then there's a couple of threes, so that one gets dropped altogether. There's a couple of fours, that one gets dropped altogether, and the result is only one, two, and five. Um, so my approach here is going to be number one. I'm going to create a, and this is not going to be an efficient solution, but it's going to be easy to remember, intuitive, easy to implement, and um, easy to read. So create a map with repeat with um, counters for each value um, like if you didn't do it this way you would need two pointers and to keep track of like the previous and then and the current element and it would be pretty confusing uh, relatively hard to implement so we're gonna just do one entire pass through the list and create a map with counters for each value okay then after that we're going to um, basically take all the numbers that have only one occurrence uh, to array and then convert array to list okay so that's the basic gist of it so let's start with the implementation and um, so we're gonna have let's call it value counter cons value counter is my hash map or you could use a set as well or whatever and then we're gonna have a pointer Oh, equal. That starts at the head, and then while L1, no, while L1 is not null, I have this tendency to want to check for L1 that next. But typically with linked list, you want to check if the element, it, like if the link list node itself is null, because if you check for the next one, then you're gonna miss out on processing the last element of the list. So let's check if it's uh, type of. Um, so let's let's check if, if if the map has already seen it, right? So if the type of this um, one dot val is undefined, then we have to create it, right? And then we say, you know, if it wasn't undefined, it was already there, and we just add one to it, and then we just move the pointer. That'll take care of creating our value counter. So now we're gonna declare a variable to hold with single repeat, or with, with let's just call it value with no repeats. And just really simple code, legible. It's an interview. You're jittery. You're nervous. You, you know, opt for the simpler approach. Um, for let's see. Yeah, let's iterate through the keys in value counter. Let key in value counter. If value counter key is one, then values with no repeats dot push key. And um, so now. I have the the list of values with no repeats, and I'm actually going to write an auxil an auxiliary function array to list that takes in an array. Um, let's just do some sanity checks in the beginning. If there isn't an array or the array dot length is zero, return null. So now we can safely assume that that the array has at least one element. Right, so we can just say the head of the list new list node with array at one as a value, and that's kind of like defined right here. The constructor takes two parameters, value and next. I'm not passing an next, so it's assumed to be undefined. And then um, let current node equal head, and while or actually, let's just iterate through for let 
i equals one starting at one because we already processed element zero i is less than array dot length i plus plus then what am i going to do here um i gotta make sure that the current node next element so current node dot next element is a new list node with this value that i'm looking at right and then um move the current node forward so cur node equals cur node dot next and then i'm gonna return head which is the pointer like the, the head never stopped pointing at that first element right so now i have that function that converts an array to a list and um that's a handy little function to have sort of memorize how you would do it although it's also like if, if you found it easy to understand and implement you probably can come up with it on the spot um so now let's go ahead and um let's say return all right to lists values with no repeats and let's uh run this first see that we don't get anything wrong um wrong answer two one two Oh, geez. Okay. Um, I should not be creating the value with the index of the array. It should be with the elements that's at that um, spot. I should now be creating the list node with the index. Uh, wrong answer again. 225. And this should be array at zero. There we go. Okay. So this looks sort of okay. Um, <clears throat> something tells me that, yeah, when when you when we do this whole thing right here of converting to an object we might not preserve the order right and then this values with no repeats might be not might not be sorted anymore so that's actually yeah well, there's no guarantee that you're going to be adding the keys to the value that, that, that when the keys get added to the value counter that they get stored in the right order so let's actually make sure that we uh, sort this beforehand let's make sure that it still runs cool let's submit all right so that's a solution it's a little bit long but it's simple and easy again what you need is simplicity and um, ease and to build rapport with your interviewer um, that's it from me. I hope that was informative and I'll see you guys next time.